Uh, Cody asks, what's the best way to quiet RFI from an inverter generator? Uh, shoot the uh, generator. Yeah, that is going to be... I don't know if there's an easy way to do that because it's just broadband noise. And I don't think you're, you're not going to find, you're not going to find like a brute force method, like um, uh, filter caps and ferrites to, to fix that problem. Right. You can try the tried and true methods, you know, make sure that everything is grounded. Um, mm -hmm. Ferrites chokes. Um, you can use a, um, bandpass filters you can use a um <laughs> uh, we had the filters a few times that when we did winter field day yeah. um you know what i'm talking about but um at the end of the day that hash is so bad on those it is filters that you have to make a choice if you're going to use them you know one time i remember we had a little kind of like a suitcase generator which is basically the same thing as an inverter and yep. um that it was s9 noise and as soon as we shut it off it was, the noise went down below S one. Yep. So, yep. Yeah, you got to be you got to be picky when you go out there and you're looking at generators or inverters because um, the cheap ones or certain designs will just kill everything. They'll throw some. Now, Travis, he's had very good luck with the Harbor Freight Predator generators. Oh, oh, oh! oh <laughs> I got to tell you a story. So earlier this week, a friend of mine got the email from Harbor Freight, and I guess the 3,500 or the 4,000 watt predator mm -hmm. was for like $159. Oh, so he had two in his, um, two in his, uh, cart and he showed someone and I guess someone must've figured it out that they put the wrong price on him. <laughs> and as soon as he hit click, it crashed. Like it emptied out oh. the cart. They caught oh. it. Oh, oh, oh no! But if, you, if you got the hundred, like it was a real, it was like a, it was obscene what the price was. It was obviously a misprint or something. But if yeah. you got one of those and you were able to get it, let us know. <laughs> but those predators, they're um, surprisingly quiet. I'm not going to say they're silent because they do generate some hash, but they're mm -hmm. they seem to be very very quiet for for the price. So if you're looking right. for a a ham radio friendly generator that's not terribly expensive you know look at the predator i so. thought they was like he said they were only like 600 yeah six or seven hundred so mm -hmm. and also apparently uh they are a little more robust than the honda ones i guess there's mm -hmm. been some problems with the honda ones uh getting hot these ones apparently have not had that problem yet so yeah. Yeah, and he's had his out in the, you know, when he's he's out there all summer long camping in the National Forest, he's using it daily to charge his batteries, so. Right, yeah, so if it's, yeah. and he's been using it for more than a couple of years now, so I think. Yeah. If you get more than a couple of years out of anything from Harbor Freight with regular use, that's pretty good. <laughs> you got your money's worth. <laughs> if it came home and it started, you got your money's worth. <laughs> All right. Now we're at the bottom of the hour and I just want to kind of um, uh, just thank some people here that um, the ones uh, that are very um, important to the channel because they're the ones that really help uh, keep the wheels moving on this on this crazy train. And that's our Patreon patrons over at Patreon.com. Uh, first, we're going to acknowledge all of our uh, continuing uh, associate producers, those on the highest level of support. Uh, we got uh, two new ones, Bill and Andy Russell. Thank you for your support. And then also our continuing producers, uh, Dave, Brian, Chuck, Rand, Joel, and Lyle. Um, always great. Um, I, I, I'm really in, totally indebted uh, to you for your, your support. And there's some new ones that came aboard in um, uh, this last, in the, uh, excuse me, in the month of March, Kyfix and Lori. So thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. If you too want to uh, help the channel out uh, grow and um, support that mission to uh, inspire and educate the amateur radio community, uh, you can do that over at patreon.com slash KB9 VBR antennas. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.